On this episode of Leave the Resort, we head to Pamplona, Spain for the San Fermin Festival, or otherwise known by the rest of the world as the Running of the Bulls. A festival hosted annually in the beginning of July features the rich culture of the Basque region, from its food and drink to its infamous bullfights. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more of Leave the Resort. We start our journey from Barcelona on a four-hour train ride to the north of Spain to a little town in the Basque region called Pamplona. We're gonna head back to the uh, to the campground, get ourselves situated there, and then head back into town. We're in all white. Now uh, we're looking for an Airbnb in the heart of town because it's too far away. They said the, the caves are a hundred euro back and forth. We're five days here. It doesn't make sense to be. Look, this is the other campgrounds over here. No story. It's like Fire Festival right yeah. here. This is what this reminds me of. If you haven't seen the Fire Festival documentary on Netflix, <laughs> give it a watch. Island getaway turned disaster. It became very barbaric. Right now, you are the fucking laughing stock of everything. <laughs> I'm not in it. I don't make any money off this. <laughs> but that's what it looks like, my babies. And as in Ernest Hemingway's The Sun Also Rises 1926 novel, we find ourselves in a similar situation as his characters. Beaten from travel, looking two weeks worth of baggage through the piss and wine filled cobblestone streets, we dodge revelers dressed in red and white as we trek through the streets to our overpriced stay. Sticking out like a sore thumb, we desperately need to change since we're not dressed apart. We just got to our Airbnb, we're waiting for her to come down and meet us, and this is literally in front of our Airbnb. Crazy. Finally settled here, we're all dressed up. We got in late last night, and you guys saw, or if you haven't, it is a massive party. Probably one of the biggest, craziest parties I've seen. Every street is literally flowing with people in the same traditional outfit. You can check out Nikki Gila right here. In another life, I wasn't mad at all. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to uh, the stadium to see if we get some tickets for the uh, the Matador versus the Bull for the Bull fights. Uh, hopefully we can. So let's see. When we walk through the streets of Pamplona, it's hard not to think about the rich history of the San Fermin Festival. Surprisingly, this festival started as a religious festival honoring Saint Bishop Fermin. The festival was first documented to occur in 1527, but as you can imagine. 250 years before America was even founded, the bookkeeping might not have been grade A. It is said that the procession would have been held even before 1187 AD. So we're literally right across from the Plaza de Toros. And uh, it's reasonable prices. It's not jacked up like New York City and probably everywhere else in the world. But uh, yeah. This is pretty good, pretty good. I'm uh, excited to see what it tastes like. Yeah, got, got our tickets already from some very nice old man. We, we skipped by all the local kids trying to, you know, probably have a scam. Saw some kind old man over there, didn't speak any English. We knew that was the right guy to get yeah. our tickets from. You got your ticket in your pocket or what? I got my ticket. It's gonna take me a second to get it out there. Yeah, so I think the tickets were, we paid 60 euros for three tickets. And granted, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so we didn't wake up at the crack of dawn when they were selling them. They were sold out immediately for the day. So this is what the ticket looks like. All right. So this is the ticket, but it's more about the feel, and you can see up in this corner, it looks pretty legitimate. But there's no way they're printing these. You can see, even see the serrated, you know, the ridges over here where it's ripped off from another ticket. Yeah, the day, you can see they only cost, you know, 12 euro and we paid how much? 20 euros each. Yeah, but, but it's, it's worth a, it. It's a fair price for uh, not waking up so early. You might ask yourself, why do they let the bulls out on the street, or as the locals call it, the Inserio? They had their local farmers event coincide with the religious festival, creating, since 1591, July 7th, the first official day of the running of the bulls. The local 
local drink. There's three things you can get pretty much. Yeah. You can get the, uh, what do we got? The standard beer. You can go half and half with sangria and beer. You can also go sangria and Coke. Coke. And I gotta tell you, I'll tell you, you know, I'll let Steve tell you. I was skeptical at first because I don't drink soda, but the sangria and Coke is delicious. Jeez. I've been demolishing them. I think maybe had one. I've had about 47 of them, so. <laughs> That's wise. We came a little early to make sure our seats were checked. That you know, we got a seat to watch the, the whole show, but we're standing right in front of where the bulls come rushing in in the morning time. So we're waiting for the show to begin, and I'll tell you, we were. Pretty early, just to make sure we found our spot and there was no problems with our seats. And it's starting to get packed. Look at this. One thing is, you could bring your own alcohol in. That's what we noticed. A lot of people are bringing their own coolers in. We didn't know that. We brought, we, we smuggled one beer in. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But people were bringing bottles and people were bringing in their own coolers. It's kind of like a NASCAR event. You can see that the band is coming in over there. You got with the tuba, the whole band. It's, it's gonna get a little wild in here. I can't wait to see it. First bull is out. One thing about traveling to these major cultural events around the world is that you are experiencing other people's cultures and understand that you may disagree with the events, displays, or ideas behind the event, but remember, you are there to observe and to broaden your own horizons. While watching the matadors dance around bull after bull, I decided not to put all three acts of killing the bull, as that is a very hard thing to watch if you're sheltered from these types of events. But even with the slaughtering of these magnificent beasts, there is a weird electric aura within the building. From the drinks flowing to the traditional chants led by a full brass band, a bullfight is surely a unique event.
could tell you what time it is, but it's early enough where the streets, the street sweeper is still going and people are scrambling to get ready here. Whether it's a watcher to run, but you can tell. There's some people warming up. Yeah. Excitement in the air. People on the balconies, people on the streets, check it out. So we're waiting, we got a good spot. We're up here on a little ledge and we have a phenomenal spot. We can see Dead Man's Turn right here. Check this out. The runners are starting to form over here. You can see they're starting to warm up. And you hear the band warming up. You see everybody on their balcony. Check this out. They like to see all the medical personnel. Yeah, we are in a prime time spot of medical personnel. Check them out. Oh, stretcher, stretcher, stretcher. The cops just pushed all these people through, and it feels like it's about to get real, real soon. Here we go. So quick, like literally lightning came through. Very, very fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Right through.
if you guys enjoyed this vlog, make sure you like and subscribe to the video for more of Leave the Resort.